Well, good morning. And welcome to a cold morning here in Cambridge. Now, we're gonna take a pause from talking about heat pumps today, and I'm gonna go back to talking about solar panels. Now, quite a few of you have got in touch and asked about the viability of north-facing solar panels. Now, as some of you know, we have our arrays split across three roofs. We have 10 panels on our south, southwest facing roof. We have four on top of our garage that is facing south, southeast. And we also have some panels on the front of the house. There are eight on there that are facing north, northeast-ish. Are they worth it? Will they pay for themselves? Let's go back into the office where it's a little bit warmer and I'll show you the data. So before we start, it's important to say you really have to do your own calculations here to figure out if they are right for you. But the TLDR is, yeah, absolutely they're a great investment, specifically if you're living in the UK, because we have some unique conditions in the UK that give us very long days during the summer. So if you take a look at a map of the world, the UK sits at a latitude of between 49 degrees down in the Scilly Isles, all the way up to 61 degrees north in the Orkneys. Now, just to put that into perspective for you, that is the same latitude as the Hudson Bay in Canada, somewhere that is known for very cold winters, polar bears, and a very different climate to the UK. But the UK also benefits from something called the Gulf Stream, the Gulf Stream keeps us, should we say, unnaturally warm. If the Gulf Stream were to go away, we would have very similar winters to northern Canada. Now, the advantage of being that far north is, in the summer, we get incredibly long days for solar generation. But consequently, in the winter, we also get very short days, where it gets light at around about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's dark by 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, this is an app that I've shown before. Um, it's a way of showing you where the sun will be on certain days. So if we actually look towards where the sun rises in the summer, you'll see the gray line there is the summer. And if I pan down, you'll see at about 3.45 in the morning, it's starting to break the horizon in front of my house. Now, if we go to the other side of the, the garden, you'll see on a long summer's day, the sun sets at about 21.15 on June 21st. So that means we get a really long day of generation. It's around 17 and a half hours of when sunlight is hitting our solar panels. But if your whole array is facing south, you're gonna miss out on a large portion of that. So let's take a look to the north. Now this is uh, directly out of my Solar Edge app. Um, the panels on the right-hand side of the diagram there, they are the ones that are facing north, northeast. And you'll see there for the whole year, so for the last 12 months, they've averaged 288 kilowatt hours per panel. Now, the other panels there, I wouldn't take the numbers on those two seriously. The array behind them, the 10 panels that are behind those on the south-southwest facing roof, um, those were off for about a month and a half during the summer. So those numbers are specifically, they're down a little bit from what they should be. We should have that all evened out next year but 288 kilowatt hours per panel. Or if you total that up, that entire array, that, those eight panels facing north, northeast, generated 2.3 megawatt hours in, in 2024. Now that's a significant amount of money. If you were to export that power at the current rate of 15 pence per kilowatt hour, that would make you 345 pounds. If you were to use that power instead of importing it from the grid, you'd probably save yourself closer to 460 pounds at the current tracker rates. So it doesn't take too much for you to figure out, this could probably work for you. But as I say, your homework is to calculate this for yourselves. You can by all means use my numbers as an example, but figure out where and how many panels you would point north and it should give you a number. Now, they're not gonna pay themselves off in one year, but if you can save three to four, maybe even 500 pounds a year, those panels will pay for themselves in four to five years easily. And with a lifespan of an expected panel somewhere in the 20 to 25 year range, you should be well in profit 
by the time you, uh, you come to replace those panels. So are north facing panels worth it? Well, they're worth it for me. They really are. They add a significant amount to my generation. They extend my generation day from about probably 12 hours out to about 17 hours. Now, the panels aren't generating all at the same time. The panels on the front of the house are generating early in the morning. As we go through the centre part of the day, they start to tail off. The panels on the rear of the house start to come out online. So we're evening out that day. We're extending the curve of our generation day, and it's making us a lot more money, especially when we come to export that power. So that's it for today's video. I hope this has been useful. I hope it's given you some insight into how north facing panels can be incorporated into an existing system, or if you're in the stages of planning a solar system and you just hadn't considered north facing panels, how you might want to think about incorporating them into the design. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has, and I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care.